We had a very blunt talk. He's a bright young man. He's committed. And he really said, Reverend, if nothing else, let people understand what this system does. I would hope this judge looks at the fact that when you put someone of this background away for a violation that was not even charged in one case, and another case was dismissed, that you're really exposing a ruthlessness in the system. Lastly, let me say that I intend to, as I said to him, follow this case and work with these attorneys. Every hearing, every step of the way, because I get far too many people at National Action Network coming to us with similar circumstances. Meek Mill represents many people that don't have lawyers like Joe, who's one of the best in the country, and who don't have the ability to get people to stand by him like Jay-Z or even people like me. That is why all of us are going to draw the line in the sand with Meek Mill. And he says, if you don't do anything else, Reverend, please speak for people that is not just about me. It's about too many people, a lot of which he talks to inside. He seemed very strong. He seemed very determined. He does not seem bitter. And he's a very bright guy. You know, many years ago, uh, I was asked to visit Tupac Shakur in jail. And I helped him negotiate him out of solitary, not out of jail, he was in solitary. And, uh, uh, and I'm glad that when we had gotten here, that his lawyers and others had made sure that uh, he is not in solitary here to me. But I went to see Tupac, who was brilliant. And I told him, I said, you know, you're nothing like your image. He said, neither you, Reverend. So it was one of, it was a Tupac moment for me with me. He's a very bright, very determined, he was worried about his son. He wanted to make sure his son and his mother's all right. In jail for nothing. And to act as though that we can just rob people of their freedom and their ability to, to reform and make a living on what we would consider minor is to concede that this is something that is on the wrong side of legal and civil rights. I mean, to violate somebody about you mentioned etiquette class. I mean, are we serious? We're talking about two to four years, somebody robbed of their freedom, despite the fact that he has uh, become someone that is successful, that people's employment depends on it. We are talking about what was cited at the hearing when she revoked him. There, that the DA and the, uh, the parole officer did not ask for time and oppose time. So are we saying that there's something wrong with them? Or are we saying, oh, we're just so annoyed, we're just gonna throw somebody's life away? You, you mentioned etiquette school as if that were a normal course of business with a judge and, and a probationer. I don't know many other defendants in the United States criminal justice system who were ordered to go to etiquette school, pay $10,000 to go to etiquette school as a part of probation. I mean, what side do you keep your fork or knife on at a restaurant? really does not have to do with the rehabilitation aspect. But when you just said what you said about he's been given many chances, well, look at what he's gone through. For 10 years, he's been under scrutiny like no one else has. When judges show up at your you know, community service assignments at a homeless shelter, um, when requests are being made that you multiple times on the record go from one management company to an, back to an old one um, for reasons that we don't need to discuss here, you know, you have to look at the whole picture. And when you look at the violations being submitted since his, his gun and drug charge back in 2008, um, or earlier than that, when he was a, an 18-year-old boy, you know, he's not committed violations of the law. There have been technical violations of probation. And as the Reverend just said, if these were serious enough that, that would require him to be a guest of the uh, Department of Corrections, the probation officer and the district attorney would have requested that. And that's what's important. You have to keep the, the, the conduct relative, and that's what we're concerned about.